It's Wednesday, November 13th. Law signs review. Listen to me. What scenario do you have that you use law signs? See, because if you don't know what scenario it is, pack it up, go to the house. You don't know what you're looking at. It's just a guessing game. So what scenario? Huh? When you have a bridge. But before that, if you're given a diagram, it's really easy to see. So if you're looking at a diagram, how can you look at a diagram of a triangle with the given information? Put down your pencils, look at me. I shouldn't have to say that five times. This is 12th grade pre calculus class. Please be smarter than that. Now, you look at a triangle that's been drawn. How do you know the conditions? What are they? No, ma'am. Side angle side is cosine. Side 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 is what? Cosine. Right? Here? <clears throat> Y'all remember this? Angle angle side. And then what? Angle, side, angle. Correct? Okay, so if you draw it, you look at that, then you've got <clears throat> just the law of signs. And you ain't got to worry about anything, right? Correct? Now, where or what does it look like when you have to consider three answers? It's got to look like a what? An ass, a donkey theory. Angle side side, right? This is where you have three possible what? I hate to say three possible answers, but three. How about this? Three answer choices. Three answer choices. Right? No triangle, one triangle, or two, right? Okay? So if you draw it, then you can see, I mean, if I, if I just quickly do A, B, and C. So C is 64. Um, let's see, this is little B, this is little C, that's little A. So 23, and then what? 68. So what, what condition do I have? Right here. Do I have an angle angle side? Do I have an angle side angle? Or do I have an ass? What do I have, guys? ASS, right? Don't you? Right? I know this right here has to happen, right? How long did it take me to draw this? About five or six seconds, right? Yeah? Okay, so it pays off dividends to do that, right? Now, you must do this. Okay? And then I'm going to put in what, I, what I'm given. I'm given 64, I'm given uh, 23, and I'm going to give 68, right? I've got a bridge, correct? Yes? Right here? So I know I've got law signs, right? The bridge got law signs. Okay. Is it just a plain Jane law signs or is it special? That's where the drawing comes from. That's how you know that you know that you know, right? Now, first thing I gotta do is hmm, what I need to find? Angle who? Yeah. Angle A, right? So if I solve this for angle A, let's see, I got um, the sine of A over 60A equals the sine of C, which is 64 over 23, right? And if we do the, the really cool thing of, hey, this right here goes where? There. And then I've got sine A on top, right? I need to get rid of the sine part of it, right? Sine of angle A. So how do I get rid of the sine of angle? The sine part. The inverse. The inverse. Thank you. So I got to do the inverse of that, right? Okay, so somebody 
quickly. Give me. You hit the inverse side, that's side twice, right? And then you go print uh fraction, you go 68 sine 64 over 23, right? Yes? Okay. So it comes up, it says what? Domain error, right? Domain error. Now, to back up, if I were you, and I get one of those, if I were you, I would simply do 68 sine 64 over who? 23. So please, somebody do that calculation for me. Not the inverse sign, just 68 times the sine 64 over 23 and give it to me. Tell me what it is as a numerical answer. 2.65. Okay, 2.65 or 2.66, right? You can't take the sign of anything over, or the inverse sign of anything over what? One. If you remember the unit circle, cosines and sines around that whole thing were no greater than one. One, right? So, it doesn't exist, right? But this will, or when you get it and you go domain error, sometimes you can type it in wrong, right? Do y'all understand? Yeah. Okay, so for me to know that I know that I know, I'm going to look at my fraction. And I'm going to see what its value is. Okay? And if that value is above 1, then I know it doesn't exist, does it? Yes, ma'am. But we said that, have we not? Not all of the gears and the wheels have to come together, right? Smooth. Okay. So you double check your fraction. If it's above one, then you know that your answer does not exist. Okay, so if one of them doesn't exist, that means the other one can't what? Exist, right? So D and E across all of them, right? Some of y'all messed up on that the other day. Now, let's look at this one. First things first. What am I going to do? Draw the triangle. Draw the triangle, right? I want to see what type of law of signs I've got to do, right? So I do A, B, C, little A, little B, little C. So I've got side that's 42, that's 42, and then angle what? A, that's 44, right? Okay, so what is this one? Angle side side, right? It's an axe, right? Yes? All right, put your pencils down. Come on. This right here is what got y'all. Y'all didn't know how to do this. And I say y'all, it was about 33% of you that did not know how to do this across both classes. Okay? About a third of y'all like, huh? Oh. So... Okay, so I'm going ahead and draw both tables because I think I showed the one that's going to not fail on the first time, right? Right? So let's fill in our given information. A side A is 40. That's 44 degrees. That's 42, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do this over here as well. 44, 40, 42, right? So what am I solving for? I'm solving for angle B, right? So if I'm in doing that, I can go B is uh, 42, the sine, well, the back up. That's 42, the sine of 44 over 40, right? Somebody tell me what that, that is. Come on. Inverse sine of 42 sine 44 of 40. 46.84. Okay, stop right here. That is angle B, right? What value or what type of angle is 46.44? Is it acute, acute or obtuse? What? Acute. acute. You know you got two tables on those things, right? One says acute, the other says what? 
of two. So guys, this goes 46.84, right? Now, that thing will be for this one. You don't do any more calculations until you do this. So stop, drop, look at this. This is it. This is critical point right here. I got an angle. So either I have one or I have what? Two, two triangles. You ready? Watch this. I got 46.84. That is an acute angle. So I've got to find its supplement. So if I go right here, 180 minus 46.84, tell me what I get. 133.16. Okay? That would have would be what angle B would have to be in the other triangle, right? Yeah. Now, this is what I do. What's 133.16 plus 44? No, no. So you, you got calculators right there in front of you. If you, if you stop working the problems you're trying to work and pay attention, you'll get this. What, what is that? 133.16 plus 44. How much? 177 points up, right? Is that number above 180? No. It's not above 180, is it? So therefore, I have a sack of triangle. Do you understand? If that if this right here was above 180, then how many triangles would I have? Only one. Do you understand? That right there. On the ASS, on the donkey theorem, on the ass part of it, of a law sign, the ambiguous cases, that is what you have to consider. And if you don't consider that before you do any other calculations, you're going to be lost and you're not going to be successful. It is that simple. Okay? Boom, got two tables. Where did this angle right here? I saw for this angle B, this angle B came from where? It's a supplement, right? So if this one's acute, this one better be what? There you go. You got two columns, right? Two tables. One says acute, one says what? That's what's driving this. So this would be obtuse, and this one would be what? Acute. Right? That's what you got to understand. Now, it's just a matter of only finding side C how many times? Twice. One for the first triangle, and one for the... Now, I can have to find angle C, but that's just adding them up and subtracting from what? 180, right? Y'all good? This right here, this little bit of understanding, right here, killed you. It sure did. And if you remember, that Thursday before the Friday quiz on law of science, I worked a problem and worked it out. Just I said, guys... Once we get this angle, this first angle that we got to solve for, we got to stop and consider do we have one or two? You got to do that, okay? You do something other than that, I'm telling you, it, it's bad, okay? All right. Any questions about law of science now? If you will draw this right here, you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt whether I got to consider ambiguous cases or not. Do you understand? The donkey theorem is the only one you got to consider, right? A angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle. Those straight law signs. Yes. All right. Now that's it for law signs as far as the review. That's as hard as it gets right there. Okay? You're good.